Welcome everybody. Uh, this is a Minecraft video of our trip to the end uh, end city. It's where you fight the dragon. Uh, first, let me give you a little background. Uh, this is uh, mine and Colby's uh, Minecraft server. It is a Direwolf 20 uh, 1.20 mod pack. It is uh, it's pretty fun. It's got a lot of oh, it's got over 200 and some odd mods in it, so uh, it goes pretty good. Here you're seeing pictures of the build. Uh, we used a mining machine and dug down. There's the mining machine. We dug down, uh, cleared a bedrock, and then there's four shafts that are 25 by 25, so you end up with a 50 by 50 area. Uh, clear at the bottom. Well, right there, the pictures you're seeing, uh, that was our enchantment area. That's the enchantment area right there. I got a little bit behind. Uh, this is the machine area. Uh, a lot of machines it takes to make all the stuff that we're building. Uh, there is some more machine area. And that's our computer, our uh, storage system is there in the back in the back. Uh, there's a lot of stuff there that I don't even understand. Uh, there's our portal area, the three different portals. and. Uh, one in the front there is the Twilight Zone, the right's the Nether, and the other one's a Aether or something. But <clears throat> anyway, uh, we moved to this server, and or we started on this server. We started on my server, which was a creative build, which we did a lot of playing. And uh, but we changed to his, and we're doing a, a no cheat one. Where we're at now. We are headed back out to it. We've already we've already been down and, and battled the uh, the dragon once and got both got killed. And we're heading back to it again. It's uh it's pretty hairy down there. That it's it's a pretty scary place. Uh, anyway, I just caught back up with uh, with uh, Colby. Uh. Colby, he got, I don't, I don't remember how he did it. There's something you can do and you can figure out where the, where the end portal is. And it's down in the ground in this castle thing. Well, so we're headed back out there again. Uh, as you can see what's in my hand, that is a, la a mining laser. Colby has one too. And you're going to see it makes it, oh, that is a lifesaver. You don't need any tools but it now. Hit in your sword and you're set. So we're gonna fly out here and uh, like I said, this is our second trip out here. So we've already been there. He's got one hole going down to it, which we had to go down and then find, and then work our way, work our way over to it. Now I'm gonna fly over. I'm gonna make a new tunnel down, which actually starts right where we found the castle, where we're going in. So. Uh, He's ahead of me here a little bit. Uh, this uh, it gets pretty. It's pretty exciting mod pack. We've got, you know, Colby does all the mechanical part of it. Uh, I don't. Some of the stuff I can do. Some of the stuff he pulls his hair out. You know, trying to figure it out and then trying to explain to me <laughs> how it does, how to do work on this stuff. But it's getting there. We've run power. Oh, our our base is just phenomenal. And it's, like I said, no cheat. We've been doing everything by the book. And uh, we're flying right now because of the rings that he made that lets us fly. Uh, it was one, the, the flying is a lifesaver. Now, see, he went down his hole. Now, my mark right there that you saw, the, the perp, that pink mark, that's actually where we found the, the side of the castle and went in. As you can see, it just, oh, 
it does three by three and just uh, it's great nope, here's where I found it this is right where we found the thought uh, I saw his name there for a second he's already in there he was ahead of me a little bit now see he ran back to find me this is the portal you put I have ender, ender all the way around it uh, took uh, what three six nine till the 12 of them and you just jump in and this is it Enderman everywhere uh, there's a bunch of uh, towers that have these deals on top of them. You had to kill them first, which he's already done. Well, he, there's a few left. I tried using my laser, and it didn't do nothing. But but he kill. He does all this. He's blowing them up. You can't get right next to them because they blow up, and they'll kill you, which you're going to see happen here in a second. Yeah, Perry got too anxious. And I died. <laughs> so now I'm back at the base. This is my room. Uh, we got um, to go back on what we were talking about earlier. That's my room where we uh, we each got rooms on this floor. Uh, we're sitting there talking. <clears throat> I don't remember what floor this was. This was a couple nights ago. So uh, we were discussing something. And this is there's a mag. There's a little elevator right here that goes up we got a main elevator which is right ahead of me there it's fancy it's got doors and buttons and but we're going to take the portal back because we set a portal in the in the room there where you go down through the portal we set a waystone sorry so uh he's already i think he's already back down there though he was still down there that's what it was and i'm back and i hate going through this thing i don't like heists and it just so he's currently fighting the uh, dragon and I'm going to get in here and start helping him I don't I just like I said I don't like heights this, all this black just uh, <laughs> uh, it's kind of tough but I, I I soldier through it and except there he is down there there's a, a deal down there that the dragon keeps going to I'm sure it's got a name it ends up being a portal afterwards. So we sat here and fight. It's a, it's a pretty good battle. See, we've already got him down a quarter. Uh, our, he flies about double the speed that we can. So... You've got to anticipate where he's going and try to cut in front of him and get up close to him. And uh, Of course, I'd have to try the laser on him, but that didn't do anything. The Endermen don't bother you because they're on the ground and you're flying, so they, and they can't do nothing to you down there. So it's like they're, they're non-existent really until you want to attack them, and, and we'll get to that. So I'm trying to get in my backpack right now to get my uh, air, bow and arrow out. I've got a bow that's got wither on it and, uh, and a whole stack of, air, of arrows. But then I couldn't, didn't have a place to put it because I had all this stuff in my, in my, in my inventory. So I'm, I'm trash canning some of that stuff to make room. Colby's just a fighting away. We both got pretty good armor and uh, pretty good swords. He's got a sword. I don't remember what's all on his. Every time he turns red, that's when we're hitting him. I started getting pretty good on the bow with uh, shooting him. It's where he goes down to there, that's when you can really go down there and start hitting him. Uh, see, we're a little better than a quarter now. Whatever, about five eighths now. Yeah, he's, 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 he takes a lot of abuse. I, I think Colby got up close to him and saw what his hit points were. I don't remember what it was, but. He's, uh. He's pretty tough. <clears throat> this is a. Uh, 
we uh, the house that we built that was actually that, that the one in the in the mine there that was our second one we started out this on another spot inside of a mountain and we had a great great base it was it was pretty well set up but it was just getting cluttered it just was not it wasn't planned and I just I just finally said hey <laughs> we need to do something different and Colby agreed we didn't want to because we'd already built quite a bit but it was I'm glad we did because what we have now is so much better the uh, elevator in the middle it was it's supposed to be an open look open concept with uh, rooms on the outside edges and which it is we have nine floors <clears throat> two of the floors are double height which the bottom one is our power level uh, next level up is going to be a tree level we're going to have trees automated being plant or they plant and they cut and it's we've did it already on the other one so we know how to do it well Colby knows how to do it but we haven't got that done yet <clears throat> and then go up and we have a, a work level and uh, just different levels that clear up to the top. We have the animals on the top, which the animals on top are above our rooms, and it kind of, uh, they're too noisy. I wish we would have done it a little different if we would have known what it was going to do. But it works. Oh, see, we're down to a little over a quarter. Uh, so... And now, see, we're still fighting there. Uh, <laughs> we just had an accident. Okay, I had an accident. Colby was working. <laughs> I was downstairs starting up another mine because we mined out one spot where I put my our, our mob, mob mob crusher where we make uh, XP, which we have unlimited XP now. But I was going to do another one just for ore. I was, and we ran out of power. See, we're not totally automated yet. We're pretty dang close. We have actually three different power plants. Uh, a small reactor, a oil burning uh, furnace, which is, that sounds primitive, but it's very, very big. And then we have a, a nuclear reactor. Well, the reactor had ran out of power because we have a lot of drainage. We have a lot of stuff that runs. <clears throat> so, ooh, we're getting down there. So we, uh, we ran out of power. So I had to go kick the, the reactor on. Oh, he's dead. We killed him. Yay, 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 yay. And then I go down here trying to look at whatever that was right there and goes to this. And this is, I don't know, it's a big story deal talking to you and I, I didn't get it. I don't, you can read it, but I don't understand what they're doing. It's, I had, I was sharing my screen, so Colby was trying to read it too and it's real weird. But anyway, on the story, I went up and started putting the, the mine together and I was getting it all set up and it's just two or three components you got to put together and and uh, a deal to send the stuff to the the cert, to the uh, storage unit and anyway all of a sudden it, it goes hazy and I went what is this what's going on and you start seeing these little green flakes floating around everywhere and I'm going I have no idea what this is what happened and then it dawned on me the the uh nuclear power plant I had running it had been probably 20 minutes and you don't usually we don't leave it running that long because it's it, it puts out a lot of power and it builds it up well unbeknownst to me Colby had turned it up a little bit up oh, there I went back to the house you click something and you finally you could get out of it and I went back to the house and uh but now we're going to have to go back again. <clears throat> so anyway, there, Colby met me there at the house. This is the elevator he built. <clears throat> He's so proud of this elevator. It, it pushes buttons and you set to where you want, floor you want. It, it goes up and down and it's really fancy. 
Uh, it's or the concept is each floor is open in the center around the elevator. Now see we're up in the the animal uh, area now, which is on the top level. It's the ground level, and then we're going to bounce back to because we set a. Uh, let me see here. What was I getting? Oh, I needed arrows. I ran out of all my arrows fighting the dragon. So we're going to bring some arrows back because we're going to jump back in there where we was. Well, anyway, I back to the radiate. It, it was radiation is what the problem was. I got down in there and turned the thing off and it started killing me and it was crazy. I can't believe I did it, but it, it was radiated for, oh, I don't know, 12 hours or so. It finally got back up. I got back over there, and uh, it finally got the top. The uh, top floors were cleared out, and then finally that that evening it had cleared out to where it was all done down. I had to make a hazmat suit uh, to go back down in there so I could even tell. And I walked around in there with a radiator, so the, the hazmat suit did work. Here I'm trying to kill some Endermen. They finally get pretty pissed. <laughs> they start really coming after me. A bunch of them. So, but luckily I can fly and they can't. So I just go up high and then look down at them and they're going, ah! Now at this time, Colby is, I think he's already taken off out across the black. Because you got to find the end, end city. And uh, I didn't want to do that because it's, it's pure black. You can't see nothing on your screen. And luckily, I figured out, and he, well, Colby had already figured it out, but you can look at the coordinates up there below the, uh, the mini-map, and you can tell whether you're rising or going down, up or down or where you're going. So... Here in a little bit, I'm gonna get he. I think he actually finds the in city, and he finally convinces me to try to follow him. But I'm gonna sit here and keep messing with these guys. You can make a. Uh, I've seen a video where they can make a deal here to kill these guys and then you have unlimited ender pearls which would be nice we're always running out of them but back in the regular world we've got quite a few endermen so we we can we're holding our own right now it took quite a bit to get in to get built up where we could come in here <laughs> end stone I just saw that everything's end and end on everything it's named end and with whatever it is I don't even think we got any of that in stone. Didn't even think about it. But we can go back there. We have a, a waystone to the to the room where you go down through the portal. So we can always go back. Yeah, gotta make sure you take a lot of food with you. I guess if we wanted to, we can always go back and get obsidian, because there's all that obsidian. Here I'm looking at the map, trying to figure out where he is, where I need to go. Because he had, I think at that time he had found stuff. I was uh, getting ready to change my settings to show the chunks, because I thought them big lines were the chunks. Well, they weren't. I don't know how what big, what them lines actually are, but... Here in a minute, I'm going to get in the, uh, uh, I don't remember what you push. You push something, one of these buttons, and it pulls up this uh, deal where you can change whether you can see the chunk lines or not. And when I pull it up, I bet it's, I don't know, it's probably 300 trunk chunks between me and him. But 
that's some kind of portal that we didn't even mess with. I don't know where it goes. It may go back. I'm not sure. Every time we went back, we died to go back. So, oh, I don't remember what's going on here. Most of a lot of this is him talking to me. We're talking in voice. Uh, there's no voice in this because I just I didn't I told Colby I thought oh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and video this for we can kind of show a friend of ours what's going what happened and uh, so I just had cha I had already planned on doing voiceover and uh, so that's why you're not hearing Colby at all uh, but we have game sounds so if you look at the uh, mini-map up in the right-hand corner, you can see his head. Uh, that's what shows on the mini-map, and that's where he's at. It looks like he's right next to the stuff there, but he's not. He's out a long ways. I think that right at this point, he's trying to convince me to go ahead and come on out there. Because you got to go out there, because the, our whole goal here is to get the Electra wings. So we can fly more, which you can't really fly with them. They make it where you can glide. And if anybody's watched Minecraft enough, uh, a lot of the guys, they get those and they use a rocket, these fireworks. You set the fireworks off and it pushes you up through the air and then you glide for a ways back down to the ground. <clears throat> well, if that if I had to use that, I probably won't be using it because I don't like it. We have our rings, which they're slower, but they're way safer. Uh, so... With the ring on, with this, this, uh, it's a levitation ring is what it is. When you're walking along and there's a gap underneath here or a crevice or anything, you just walk straight across. It doesn't let you change. You don't change level. You don't fall down. So it's just, it's nice. It goes up and down with the buttons. You push shift to go down and, and the space bar to go up. And once you start doing it, you get really used to it. And it's real, makes it real easy. So, uh, I was trying to see what that was. Yeah, there he is, way out there. So it doesn't look like a long ways, but it is. I think this is where I'm going to go to the map settings and change it. He's trying to explain to me how to do it. Because I'm sitting there going, I said, there's only like two and a half chunks out there. And he goes, oh, no, oh, no. I don't know what those lines are, but those are not chunk lines. A uh, chunk is a, just a designated amount of area. And he says, go to the chunk grid and change it to true, which is right there. I changed it to true. And get back out of it. Now, when you zoom into the ground there, he says, zoom in, you'll be able to see them. And once I see them, I'm just discouraged. <laughs> Look at them. They're all over. Look, there's one, two, three, four, just right there in that picture. So, there's a lot going out there. <clears throat> and he's convincing me to go ahead and go out there because he has found, he has found the end land, the end area, the end, sh there's an end ship that's floating out there, and then there's an end city. So, I tried to mark a waste pipe, but you can't because... You can't see the ground around him, so it doesn't have any place to get a bearing. So luckily, I can see him. And uh, so I just start. Here in a minute, I'm going to take off out there. And I just, that's when I notice that you can see the coordinates around the, you know, I remember that I got coordinates on that I can look at. And I can tell what I'm doing, what direction I'm going and everything. So, oh, and here is my pet peeve or whatever you want to call it, my complaint to Minecraft, why they haven't added a map in Minecraft. I know they're trying to keep to their roots and, and there was never a mine, never a map or never a mini map. 
But in regular Minecraft, you spend so much time checking your coordinates when you have to push F3 and check it on there. And it shows your height and your coordinates. And, oh, it's a pain in the butt. It, what, it's, what I'm complaining about, it takes time away from the game. Because you spend so much time worried about losing your where your house is. You know, I was used to have to make a big old pole of uh, stone going straight up with a torch on top of it so you can look from a long ways away and see where it is to get back to your house. Oh, having a mini-map and waypoints is... It, it makes the game so much better. And why... Minecraft should see that. They're adding some stuff. They have been adding stuff. I think they've added a backpack now and stuff. Like, we've made this backpack. This mod has a backpack mod in it. I've got three on me right now. Uh, two two big ones and one real small one. The small one, I keep all my uh, oh, extra pickaxes and stuff. But, well, before I got the lining, mining laser. So I've got some extra equipment in there that I need for, for stuff. Well, you can see, see on the map, yeah, there it is, pure black. And you're just blind, watching where you're going, you know, trying to watch where you're going, but there ain't nothing to watch. Well, we're going to be floating here for quite a while. I didn't like this part at all. This was, with my fear of heights, this is really, I'm doing everything I can to hold it together. So, we wait. We get out here pretty far and we're going to be able to see the, uh, We'll start seeing some end city, end uh, land, because there's some end trees. They look like, oh, that one kind of 
that one kind of a cactus in that's down in Texas and Arizona. Sonora or whatever they're called. That's what it looks like. These trees you start seeing. But it's out here quite a ways. You can see on the mini map it's just all black and then you can see Colby's head. That's what we're shooting for. see if I can hurry this up. Well, maybe not. Tell you the truth, I'm doing this voiceover and I've already screwed up the video twice. I had to start over, so. Oh, there we go. Now we're seeing the inland and you can see the trees. Oh, you can see Colby. Uh, you can see some of the land on the map. There's more Enderman. There's the end trees. I never even thought to go down there and get some of them. We're going to have, like I said, we're going to have to go back and do a lot of uh, exploring. Because I want to get some of that tree, them trees. Up oh, there's the ship. Yep, Colby's right there. He's already been fighting. There is shockers or shulker, shulkers floating around, and he's been fighting. You can see him. That trail out there is their trail they leave. <clears throat> but he says, "Hey, go downstairs. There's chests down there." See, there's shulkers in here. If they hit you with their deal, they make you float. Up oh, there's my wings. Got my wings. And I start clearing out these chests while he's fighting the shulkers. Found a little this, a little that. So I'm taking what I think's relevant and can be used. And if I would have thought about it, I should just not even worried about it because we can always come back and do it again. at that point I think I still have my waystone if I remember right we'll have to see here I think I set a waystone there yeah I do I sent a waystone there mine so we can come back to it so I'm just grabbing stuff moving it out of my inventory into the backpack make it some room so I can pick up some more stuff So you open up this deal here and up above there in the top left hand of my jetpack that I have that we don't use hardly. But the spot right next to it to the left, that's where the wings need to go. I'm looking around trying to find the back part. And I think it needs to go where my jetpack was. So I try that, but it won't go in that slot, but it will go in that slot to the left, which Colby told me to. That's where I put it. Yeah. 
And good thing I took those orange rods. Because <clears throat> they're orange and that's what made the dye to make my hazmat suit, which I made after my little hazmat incident. Ah, uh, there was another diamond backpack in there, so I got now I got me another one. Here I'm trying to look at a bunch of this stuff, trying to figure out what I had. Now we're both going over to the end city. I think. I don't know if Colby's already been over here. Yeah, I think he'd already been over here. And the skulkers are there. See the when you see them bubbles, that means you're just, they've shot you and you're trying to float. And if you come, if you ain't got something to get stop you, you're gonna just float up and keep floating and floating. Which that really. Put the fear in me. So, we sat here and fight around for a while and and then, uh, and finally at some point here we decided to put a waystone down, my waystone down, I changed the name of it, and we go back to the house. So I think I'm gonna end it about right here because it ain't nothing. We just we just sit here and mess around here and mess with them and and like I said we end up going back to the house and looking at our stuff and and then uh that was it. See so we keep trying to float up and they're a pain in the butt. But anyway, I think we're going to end it here. Uh, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll, uh, I'll get this uploaded. And please like and subscribe. Uh, subscribing doesn't cost anything. just uh, helps out my channel. But thanks for watching with us. Catch you later.